one. Yeah, hi everybody, Dr. Justin McCormick here again. Today what I wanted to talk about is what's the difference between spinal decompression and traction. Um, one thing that I should, should say first, there's only two true spinal decompression um, computers. One is called the VAC-C, which is um, somewhat obsolete anymore. The newer version is what we use here called the DRX-9000. So one thing I do caution people is just because you see uh, an advertisement um, or a, a sign saying decompression, the majority of them are just glorified traction tables. And that's where I want to talk about the difference between true spinal decompression, such as the DRX-9000, which is what we use, and then just general traction. So the difference is what we call a feedback mechanism. Traction has no feedback. In other words, uh, somebody may set either just a weight or a computer on a traction table, uh, the patient's hooked up, and what it's going to do is it's just simply going to pull on that patient's spine or, or whatever they have it set up to at exactly what the technician or the clinician set that treatment to. So if it was 50 pounds or 60 pounds, it's just going to pull on that. And it's what we call a linear pull where there's nothing going in and out from the machine into the patient. Okay, it's just only doing exactly what the clinician told the computer to do. Now, decompression on the other hand has what we call a feedback loop. So not only do we set the computers to what we feel the patient should need, you know, whatever weight percentage we set it at, but whatever that patient does while on the table, the computer is going to know that. So here's the biggest reason this is something we should be concerned about. It's called muscle splinting. Patients with disc diseases, herniated disc, bulging disc, disc um, degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis, many times the muscles will splint around that area to protect it. It's a protective mechanism. So it's a good thing to keep the problem from getting worse, but when we're trying to treat that problem, it can be a problem if you don't have the right type of equipment. So going back to traction, the clinician set that computer up to you know whatever pound that they use, it starts pulling on the patient. The patient in this example may go into spasm or splinting, which means it's gonna cause a lot of pain, but the computer can't read what that patient's doing. So it just keeps pulling. The patient may become more inflamed and could even become worse. Again, decompression on the other hand, our computers know what the patient is doing. So if they start to splint or that muscle starts to spasm, it knows that it backs off, it relaxes till the patient's muscles can calm down, then it starts to decompress again. And that can happen over and over again. And in a matter of fact, 16 times every second, the DRX-9000 is putting an impulse in and understanding exactly what's happening in that patient's spine. So there you go, um, that is uh, some differences on traction to decompression. Make sure if you do go with decompression, it's true decompression, uh, as I said. Thank you.